How do you YouTube? I drink your milk here and today we are going to be taking out one of the best tanks in War Thunder. That's right. The British Independent. A tank so awesome, I only built one, because why do you need more? It has four, count them, four machine guns. And, check this out, a 47mm 3 pounder gun. So, the Brits are all about fair play and obviously during the war you're kind of thinking, oh, you know, they've got Tiger tanks, they've got Panther tanks, what are we going to do? Well, the Brits already had the answer. They built it in the mid-30s, and that was the independent tank, as seen here in all its glory. You've got eight crew members, because, you know, why not? It's the size of a bus, why not have a, a bus amount of passengers on there? Um, and that does make it hard to kill. Unfortunately, the armour is um, pretty average. The three-pounder gun um, is pretty effective, but it has a bit of a dip because it's quite low velocity and what we kind of looking at when we have this tank is a slow trundle into battle hopefully um, you'll take a few enemies on you'll lose crew but not the vital ones and you'll kind of get out with a few crew members alive and uh, with a few kills in your pocket what generally happens is um, you kind of trundle slowly into battle you take a few shots you might get a kill and your crew are slowly wiped out as uh, people try to get into the driver's seat people try to get into the gun seat and you find yourselves eventually dead it's a fun tank though and with the release of the Japanese tanks uh, it should have some fun um, it should be quite well matched against those it's got better armor similar speed Turret speed, uh, turret traverse is probably about the same, probably a little bit better. Um, but if everyone's trying to jump onto a Japanese tank at the moment, it should be quite easy getting in a battle. So uh, I hope we get them straight away. So I'll be doing that shortly. So straight away we've got into a battle and we're going to Eastern Europe to try our best with the Independent to slowly move through the city streets where we will be easy prey to anything fast moving so we are going to give it a damn good go starting in town let's see if we can get enough momentum there we go nothing can stop the might of the independent or even a concrete pillar it would be nice to stick around with an LVT also hard to kill and a T26 with a bit of speed and manoeuvrability um, 47 mm gun. Once we do hit a target, it's going to be pretty good. It's just that whole hitting the target bit, which is the uh, which is the switch. So, as it's low velocity, we do get quite a dip. And hopefully, we've got a few friends around. Attention to the designated grid square! We might just get uh, absolutely creep first off, because they are as dangerous as we are. They're 37 metres and 45 mm guns. Oh, oh, oh. You didn't help anyone out there, did you, fella? Alright, let's get away from the river. We're losing our friends. Not to the enemy, just we can't see them anymore. M3 who's just going to sit there happily wait for us to catch up. Very, very good of you. Let's not have all the kills holding, hey? Alright, so let's slowly leave our flank exposed to the enemy as we trundle through some crates. Which this tank was probably actually designed for. It was more of a design of World War One, World War Two, built in the interwar years. And uh, it's very much the old philosophy of. Anyone, let's just brace it. Got it. He's gone. Yeah. Plus, you're like, you're going to be coming against craters. It's going to be more of a moonscape than a, uh, a battlefield. So, massive traversing abilities. Look at it. That thing's huge. I can go across any trench. Oh, I didn't like what I saw there. We do have friendlies pushing forward though, so maybe whoever's shooting at us is uh, now got more to worry about than uh, the big lumbering World War One style tank. 
this tank still exists. Uh, you Google it, you'll see pictures or YouTube, and you'll find the videos of this real-life tank, which still runs, um, albeit slowly, expensively, and uh, not particularly fast. those dead hills and they are pissed. So we've lost a crew member, got a tank, our tank track damaged. Have a number of unfriendlies. but we're getting uh, damaged. I don't really want to stop here because, okay, I've got no choice of being tracked. Let's see who else is coming down on us. Yep, where are you? target for everyone to shoot at. We've lost a lot of crew members now. We uh, are stuck whilst we're being repaired because we've lost a track. Um, and this bush is making it really fucking hard to see anything, so I'm just having to shoot without using our target. Or well, without using our actual uh, gunner sight. Okay, so we've got some friendlies taking A now. Might be able to take the heat up us long enough that we can have a bit of a look around. Uh, no, here we go. So yeah, we've got to take it out by PZ2, Panzer 2. Um, so slow, and we're so uh, so crippled. So let's take out T seventeen E two. See if we have a bit more joy of that. So we're up there. We've got four kills so far, but not convincing. B B. Across to the image 
inside without dying. Take that T72, because 50 gallons are fun, let's be honest, two of them. Um, oh, we're losing B, we are. Okay, let's go and have a look. Take B and keep that. More important at the moment than that. Defend the B point. Keep A. We're for artillery fire. Defend the B point. Oh, that same Panzer 2 took us out. Probably the same one. Uh, we saw a little bit too late and uh, we were kind of jumping up in the air at the time, so that wasn't ideal. Let's take out our A13. Defend the B point! No armor piercing! Artillery, clear reference! One of our guys going towards their spawn. We've got free conversion on B now, so hopefully we can retake that. A is being taken back. Let's just try and get those quickly as possible. The enemy is winning! Pull up counter attack! should be like staying back to defend me or somebody at least but uh, we're losing we need to take A Shadow. On my own now, we've got M2A2 still. Let's see, buggers. 
at the spawn, going down into A. That's fine. There you go, Commander took me out. Embarrassing. I guess that's exactly what happens when, uh, oh, it was not even a trap I saw. Alright, so we're losing B. Let's go in our last tank. The enemy is winning. We must counterattack. We have two ground units. Three ground units, okay. Not over. It's nearly over. I kind of feel that had we kind of concentrated more on defence rather than attack, we could have uh, had a bit more joy. Oh, that was. Uh, Japanese tank down there, it turned out to be a phone box, which kind of tells you something when the uh, misidentification of an enemy vehicle comes about and you create to a phone box. Blew me up. Well, that was a fun little run out with uh, some of the British tanks. And uh, didn't do terribly. I'm going to have maybe a little go in the plane. I'm not a great pilot, and uh, I think the fact we've got bedding on the Enemy ground means that my little Nimrod really isn't going to make much of a difference, even with its machine guns. But it's easy. Not bad. Yeah, there we are, we're sat second with six kills, died four times, and uh, what I'm trying to do now with my little Nimrod is to be a bit of a pain in the ass for somebody. We need to put more pressure on the enemy. There's no hope for an instant think if I'm going to do any damage to any ground units, the Japanese possibly, but um, I'm not sure. 
so let's see how we get. Oh, there's a plane though, maybe we can do some uh, keep their aerial units busy. Maybe it's just so they're not shooting at my more useful colleagues. There we are, British tanks, not bad. The uh, independent, a fun vehicle to play, quite tough, but eventually you are going to uh, run into trouble.